Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be learning about the panoramic setting on your iPhone and how they're a great way of capturing a full scene. Today's lesson is going to be a bit on the shorter side, so there is a quiz at the end of the lesson summing up everything we've learned so far. Let's get right into the video. Panoramas are a great way of capturing a scene which are too wide or too tall to fit inside the viewfinder of a conventional landscape or portrait layout. A panoramic shot doesn't have to be super wide. You may want to just use it to get a slightly wider angle view than your camera will normally allow. Start by opening the native camera app, then swipe through different shooting modes until you have pano mode selected. Next, do a dry run of your shot. Before you start shooting your panorama, it's best to do a dry run of your shot to plan how your final photo would end up. To create a horizontal panorama, hold the camera upright in portrait orientation. Now pan the camera from left to right or right to left across your screen. Note where you want the photo to start and to end. It's best to choose something interesting to start and end on. Third, set the panning direction. If you want to start your panoramic shot from the left, ensure the arrow is pointing to the right. If you want to start from the right, ensure that the arrow is pointing to the left. If it's pointing the wrong way, simply tap the arrow and it will switch direction. And now you can shoot your panorama. Point your iPhone at the starting position of your panoramic photo and press the shutter button to start shooting. Slowly pan your iPhone towards the end position. Make sure that you keep moving and that you keep the arrow on the line displayed. The iPhone will tell you if you deviate too far from the line or if you go too fast. And now time for the quiz section of the video. And now time for the quiz section of the video. Feel free to hit the pause button after every question so that you have enough time to think of your answer. And once again, this quiz is just here to test your understanding of everything we've learned so far and to make sure that you're all up to speed. Goodbye. The three most important settings for exposing an image are A. Depth of field, ISO and shutter speed B. ISO, aperture and rule of thirds or C. Aperture, ISO and shutter speed the correct answer was C, aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Question 2. How can we achieve good long exposure shots with our iPhones? The correct answer is to use live photo mode and apps like slow shutter cam. Question 3 is how can we get a specific object in focus using our iPhone camera? Correct answer is we press and hold on the object we want in focus to activate autofocus auto exposure. Question 4 is how can we adjust exposure on an iPhone camera? The correct answer is to tap and hold on the screen for a sun icon to appear and drag up and down to adjust the exposure. Question 5 What is the most effective method for capturing action shots? The correct answer is using the burst mode to capture multiple shots at once by holding the shutter icon. Question 6 is what is HDR mode? The correct answer is HDR takes the lightest and darkest parts of a scene and blends them together. The last question is the key aspect of portrait photography is a. The subject's background, B. The subject's body, or C. The subject's face. The correct answer was C. The subject's face. Well, that's it for this lesson. I hope you learned more about the panoramic setting on your iPhone. As always, I encourage you to get out of your seat and apply what you've learned in this lesson to your photos today. My challenge for you, if you're up for it, is to take a panoramic shot of a large tree. See if you can do it. I'll see you in the next lesson. But for now, Thank <laughs> you.